This is a picture I took several years ago in a small town in France. It was about 9.30 in the morning and very hazy and very well defined. As you can see, the sky has absolutely nothing in it. And obviously, what I would like to do is to bring your eye directly into the middle of the picture. Also, I want to get rid of these pipes and obviously make it very bright and easy to look at. First thing I'm going to do is to go to the rectangular marquee and select an area right here. This area right there. I don't know if you can see it too well, but let, let me show you as I, there, that area. And I'm going to select the move tool. I'm going to grab this side right here. I'm going to hold the alt key down. And I'm just going to pull that wall over right to there and hit Control D for deselect. And there we have that wall covering the, those paints. Now you see this little black thing here. I can get rid of that fairly easily by just going to the clone tool right here and selecting some part right there. Do an Alt click and bring that down and it just overwrites right there. From this area. Now that we have that, what we want to do now is to see how bright we can get this picture and also to make the bricks look a little bit terracotta, which is normally what you see in, in, in Europe, that the bricks are, are a little golden brown. So I go to quick and I look at color right here. Select color. And right in the middle here is the picture as it is now. Now, as I move this over, you can see what happens. The color is coming back up higher. And there we have it. We have a color that is exactly what that should look like. And once we select that, we just go back to Expert. And there we have it. Now, this is what we're starting with is in the background right here. And I'm going to do a Control-J. Okay. Now we're going to be working on layer one. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to select down in here the quick selection tool. And I'm going to select the road right in here. And I've over selected right there. And so all I have to do is hit the Alt key to deselect that. And now and you can see I want to select up in here a little bit, just a little bit more right there. And now I'm going to hit the Control-J. And the Control-J identifies only the little road. So while I'm on Layer 2, I will now go to Quick, and I will go to Lighting. And see what I want to do for the for the road. And I can see now that it's only going to get it brighter and I don't want it brighter. So now I'm going to exposure to see what I can do. And now I can bring that down right there to exposure. And now you see what's happened to the road. And so I go back to expert mode. But can I get something a little bit better here? So let me go back to quick and see if I can, by just moving the exposure up and down until I think it's just about right. There, so I have more control by using this than I do here, but these are areas that you can use until you get almost where you want it to be, but then all of a sudden you may want to use just the exposure on the slider here and say expert go back to expert mode and now we have this layer layer two and what i want to do of course is to bring your eye into this building right here right in the middle so let's do another go back to layer one let's do another selection selection you can see it's quick selection and let me select this building right here, the selection area right there. Now you can see I've over-selected here. I'm also over-selected up here somewhere. 
Now I can get rid of that over selection at the top here by just hitting the Alt key and deselecting right in here. Now I know I'm going to have problems deselecting in here because this color is too close to that. So I'm just going to hit a Control J right here is what I want to work on to bring out more of the brightness. And you can see here I've over selected. So I'm just going to get rid of that fairly quickly by going here, select the rectangular marquee tool and select this area right there. Right there. And go to edit and hit delete. And now I've just cleared that area that I didn't want. And I'll now hit the control D for a deselection. All right. So let's go back and open up all of these things here. And now this is what we have. But I'm on layer three. So now I'm going to go back to quick. I'm going to go to color. And look at what we're doing here. You see how we're selecting only the center part that we just selected so we can go there and all of a sudden you can see we've heightened the color made it even more golden like the rocks and say okay hit the expert mode and now we have the photo as we as we believe it should be now the last thing i want to do here is to add sky here a little bit of blue sky Rather than going and bringing in sky and putting it in the background, I can do that using one of the tools uh, in filter box. So the first thing I want to do here is to go to the selection and do a, a, a magic wand. I'm going to set the tolerance here to about 23 or 24, somewhere in that. Let's see, until... You can see now what's happened is I have selected only the sky. A couple of other little spots here, but I wouldn't worry about that. Only the sky here. All right. And I will now go to filter. Let me, let me uh, go back a bit. The color that I want the sky to be will be white and blue. So let me go to blue about there and say OK. Now you can see right here what the color of the sky will be. It will be blue and white because it's a mixture of both. I go to filter, render, clouds. And you can see what's happened here. I've added clouds. And I'll just do control D to deselect. And here we have it. At this point, let's take a look at what we've actually started with, which was that, to this. So you can see what we've done here. We made this, I believe, a lot better than what it, it was originally done. Now you could save this at this point if you like that, and you just go to File, Save As, and you have the option, obviously, of saving it as a PSD or as a JPEG file. So if you intended to work, do some other work on this, you could save it as a PSD file right here and just do a save. In this case, my intention is to make this into a photo that looks like it, it's in the dark. And now I'm going to flatten the image. I'm going to do all, take all of these and I'm going to make them into one. So it says flatten image and I discard the, the hidden layers. And this is what I'm starting with now is this. So let's do a control J and work on layer one. Just shut that off. Let's start by making it look dark. I go to quick and at this point you can see what happens. I go from here to here and almost immediately it looks like it's, it's, it's getting darker. I can move this exposure up to about there. Now that looks pretty dark. The things that don't look dark, however, are up in here, right there, and maybe some of these leaves and so on and so forth. But for the time being, we do have dark. So let's go back to expert. And now what I'm going to do is to brighten up 
this building right here, and I'm going to darken up the top here. What I do in this instance is I go to this thing that looks like a little fist, which is a burn tool. The burn tool, you, you have three choices here. You, you have something called a sponge tool, a dodge tool, which makes uh, things brighter. And this, which is a burn tool, makes it darker. So I'm going to take the exposure down a bit and I'm going to see how large my brush is going to be. All right, so we're going to start by darkening some stuff here. There, see how the sky is getting darker. So it's not necessary for me to go and change colors or anything. I just, what I want to do is to give this a the sky that looks darker than what it what it is. All right. Now, what happens also here is that these leaves, even though we've darkened everything, all right, and we can darken this even more. Okay, there. So making everything a little bit darker. Okay, so that's a darker sky. Okay. Let's go over the leaves and make them darker. Okay. Here we go. Up in here. Just darken them up so that, there we go, make those darker. You notice as I go over, things just get dark. So now this is what we, this is what we have right now, but this is what we started with. So, so far things are getting to look pretty dark. Okay. Now what I still want to do is to bring the eye into here. But rather than doing a selection like we did before, I'm going back to this thing looks like a little lollipop, but it's really the dodge tool. And the dodge tool makes things brighter. So watch what happens here. As I go over this, it makes it lighter. All right? There. So at this point, notice how your eye comes into here. So we still have a, a light, a night scene, and you could, for example, just lighten this up a bit if you wanted to, just a bit. All right, and then what I'm going to do now is to add a piece of glass over everything right here has nothing on it so i'm going to put something on it i'm going to put lights in these lights and how i'm going to do that is i'm going to the color to color and i'm going to pick a color that would look like a light maybe a little bit brighter than that and say okay that will be the color and say okay now what I'm trying to do here is to make it look like the light emits quite a bit of light here and here. But there has to be a bulb in there and then, then the light over it. So here I'm going to decrease the exposure to say, oh, maybe 18%, somewhere in that vicinity. And I'm going to make the size of the, we're in between here and it's hard to do, but let's say right there. Now watch what happens when I do this. I'm going to click it once. Well, it would help. Yeah, quick, click it once. Keep clicking it. Well, it would help if I went to the painting tool right here. And I'm clicking on that. Okay. And I'm just going around it. So it looks like it's emitting light. But now you need a very strong light inside there 
to show that that's what it's emitting from. So I'm going to raise the opacity here and put the size way down. And so on that one, I'm going to put size maybe around 25 right here. And you're going to click. You see how the, see how that light is shining through. I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, so now we have lights, and we have a dark scene. Okay, you could, if you wanted to, put a little bit of yellow right in here, which showed that perhaps some of the some of that light is coming through. So let's increase the size of this right here too. Oh, that's quite large, but we'll do an undo brush tool here and way move the opacity way down. There we go. And you can see now that some it looks like some of the light is is coming down from here onto the onto there. And there we have it. So you can see when we go back to where we started from, which was here, and this is what we ended up with. And you can save that as a JPEG or whatever you want to do, or if you decided that you wanted to work on it some more or whatever, then uh, obviously save it as a PSD. That's the end of the lesson.